Welcome to Open Heavens Devotional Commentary, a guide to a close fellowship with God with Salami Energy Harina, your host. We are glad to have you today. Hello, good day and thank you for joining us today again. Open Heavens is written by our Father and the Lord, Pastor E. A. Adebue, the General Overseer of the Redeemed Christian Church of God. And this commentary intends to bring insights to God's Word by the help of the Holy Spirit. Today's date is Sunday, the 26th day of November 2023, and our topic for today is Real Promotion. Let us pray. Everlasting Father, the King of Glory, our God and our Lord, we worship and we bless your name. We thank you for today. Thank you for how you have kept us, how you preserved us. We thank you for your love. We thank you for your faithfulness towards us. We come before you today again, surrendering our hearts to you. We ask that as you speak to us, you would cause our hearts to yield and to be responsive to it in the name of Jesus. Let your word minister life to us. In Jesus' name we have prayed. Amen. Praise the Lord. Our memory verse for today is from the book of Psalm 75 verse 6. Psalm 75 verse 6 reads, For promotion cometh neither from the east, nor from the west, nor from the south. Psalm 75 verse 6. Our text for today is from the book of 1 Samuel chapter 13 from verse 8 to 14. 1 Samuel chapter 13 from verse 8 to 14 reads, And he tarried seven days, according to the set time that Samuel had appointed. But Samuel came not to Gilgal, and the people were scattered from him. And Saul said, Bring hither a burnt offering to me, and peace offerings. And he offered the burnt offering. And it came to pass that as soon as he had made an end of offering the burnt offering, behold, Samuel came, and Saul went out to meet him, that he might salute him. And Samuel said, What hast thou done? And Saul said, Because I saw that the people were scattered from me, and that thou camest not within the days appointed, and that the Philistines gathered themselves together at Michmash. Therefore said I, The Philistines will come down now upon me to Gilgal, and I have not made supplication unto the Lord. I forced myself therefore, and offered a burnt offering. And Samuel said to Saul, Thou hast done foolishly. Thou hast not kept the commandment of the Lord thy God, which he commanded thee. For now would the Lord have established thy kingdom upon Israel for ever. But now thy kingdom shall not continue. The Lord had sought him a man after his own heart. And the Lord had commanded him to be captain over his people, because thou hast not kept that which the Lord commanded thee. 1 Samuel chapter 13 from verse 8 to 14. God bless the reading of his word to us today in Jesus' name. Amen. Praise the Lord. Our topic for today once more is real promotion. And in the body of today's devotional, our Father and the Lord says to us that there are different types of promotions. When a human being promotes you, don't rejoice too much because it is temporary. However, when God promotes you, you are really promoted. Even though you become the president of a country like America, you can only hold the position for a maximum of 8 years. When man promotes, it is temporary. Only God gives real promotion that no one can interfere with. Since we know now that the only way to really make progress in life is to be promoted by God, then we need to find out his criteria for promotion. God promoted David from being a shepherd boy to becoming the king of Israel for one simple reason. David was sold out to the will of God. Acts chapter 13 verse 22. David was not a man to argue with God. With David, God's wish was his command. The reason God gave Jesus a name that is above every other is what he said in John chapter 4 verse 34. My meat is to do the will of him that sent me and to finish his work. In the Garden of Gethsemane, Jesus wished the cup of suffering for the sins of the world could be taken away from him, but he said to God, Not my will, but yours be done. Luke chapter 22 verse 42 When Jesus was teaching his disciples to pray, 
One of the prayer points he mentioned was, Thy kingdom come, thy will be done in earth as it is in heaven. Matthew chapter 6 verse 10 God wants his will to be done on earth as it is in heaven. Therefore, when he sees someone willing to do his will, he promotes that fellow to a position of authority. If God promotes somebody because the fellow started in humility and submission to him, but along the line begins to disregard his instructions, that fellow would be demoted immediately. That is what happened to Saul in 1 Samuel chapter 15 verse 24 to 28. Saul started out well, but somehow in between, he preferred to please the people over doing God's will. Some people have been asking God to promote them, but they have no regard for his will. Promotion will only come when you surrender completely to God's will. God bless his word to us today in Jesus' name. Amen. Praise the Lord. Our topic for today once more is real promotion. And from today's topic, we can tell that if there is a real promotion, then there is a counterfeit one. Scripture makes us understand that it is the blessings of the Lord that make it rich and adds no sorrow with it. In today's world, there may seem to be some kind of quick and easy ways to make progress and promotion. However, if it must be real and durable, then it must come from the Lord. Today's study, our Father and the Lord explains to us that when man promotes you, it is often short-lived. You can expect that that promotion may not last. And in all honesty, when a man promotes you, there is the possibility of pride. That one day he can boastfully say, if not for me, where would you be? Then the day he suddenly does not like your face, he tries to demote you. Or he tries to undo his favor. But that never happens when your promotion comes from the Lord. Remember that when he opens a door, no one can shut it. In today's study also, we considered God's criteria for promotion and our Father and the Lord explained to us that one of them is being sold out to his will. Someone once said that the words, not my will, O Lord, but thine be done, is the language of dead men, men who are totally dead to the flesh, men who would stop at nothing to see that the will of the Lord is done, men who prioritize his will over theirs. When you are sold out to him, it means that there is nothing of yourself that is left. He comes first before every other thing follows. We also learn from our study today that those whom God promotes are those who put and prioritize his kingdom first. They are totally sold out to his service. You would find them winning souls. You would find them laboring in any way possible to advance his cause. They can sacrifice everything, even their resources for kingdom come and for his will to be done on it. And these they would do without any iota of shame. Remember David, the man after God's own heart? He did not mind dancing and proclaiming the goodness of the Lord in public, even when it was contrary to public opinion. When he was asked, he acknowledged that he was doing it unto the one who had promoted him, the one who made him the most preferred, even when it seemed like he was the least qualified. When he could not build the temple, he ensured that everything needed was available. So in a way, he still built it. We also learned from our study for today, the importance of working continuously in humility and prioritizing God because we are told that he does not delight in those who draw back. Our Father in the Lord says that if God promotes somebody because the fellow started in humility and submission to him, but along the line, he begins to disregard his instructions, he says that that fellow would be demoted immediately. Scripture makes us understand that he is a rewarder of them that diligently seek him. Diligence is required in our service unto God. One example of someone who enjoyed real promotion was Joseph. And this should not come as a surprise. Remember, he said in Genesis chapter 39 verse 9, when he was faced with the temptation of Potiphar's wife, he said, There is none greater in this house than I, neither hath he kept back anything from me but thee, because thou art his wife. He says, How then can I do this great wickedness and sin against God? 
we are told today that promotion would only come when we submit totally to God's will, when we do not only seek to do God's will seasonally. There was no one with Joseph, for example. However, he acknowledged God even when no one could see him. Those who would enjoy real promotion are those who would honor and prioritize God both publicly and secretly. I would like us at this point to bow our heads and ask the Lord today, we would say, Father, in the name of Jesus, please help me to prioritize you above every other thing in my life. Ask the Lord today, say, Father, help me to give you priority place. Come and be chief, come and be ruler, come and be king, come and be Lord. Ask the Lord today, say, Father, let nothing take your place in my life in Jesus' name. Also ask the Lord today, say, Father, grant unto me the grace to do your will. Help me to desire to do your will and to put it first in the name of Jesus. Ask the Lord today, say, Father, help me to desire kingdom come. Help me to desire to see your will being done on earth even as it is in heaven. So ask the Lord today, say, Father, please grant us the grace for consistency in our work with you. Help us never to draw back. Help us to continue walking in humility in the name of Jesus. I'd like us also to pray today, we would ask the Lord, would say, Father, Saul was rejected and his promotion was overturned because he was trying to please men. Ask the Lord today, say, Father, help us to seek to please you and you alone in the name of Jesus. Ask the Lord today, say, Father, let us not be men pleasers. Let us seek to make you happy always in the name of Jesus. So ask the Lord today, say, Father, please help us to look unto you and you alone for promotion. We learn today about real promotion and that it comes from him alone. Ask the Lord that he would be our rock and our helper, coming through for us always in the name of Jesus. I'd also like us at this point to bring before the Lord areas in our lives where we are trusting him for promotion. Ask the Lord today, say, Father, let me never remain the same. Let my promotion, my elevation, my divine remembrance come speedily in the name of Jesus. Ask the Lord, say, Father, let me receive good news and let me have a testimony. Thank you, our dear Father. In Jesus' name we have prayed. Amen. Our gracious Redeemer, we thank you for your word that has come to us today. We ask, O Lord, that the grace to continually do your will you grant unto us. Thank you, our gracious Father. In Jesus' mighty name we have prayed. Amen. Praise the Lord. We have a key point in today's study that tells us if you truly want to be promoted by God, then you must be sold out to doing His will. We receive the grace today to relentlessly do His will in Jesus' name. Amen. Praise God. We also have in our Bible in one year reading plan for today to read from the book of Romans chapter 8 down to chapter 10. We also want to thank you and appreciate you for joining us today. God bless you. If you'd love to speak to someone, or to receive updates like this sent to you daily, please do well to send a WhatsApp or Telegram message to plus 234-80-986-11226. Do well also to like, share, comment and subscribe to our various platforms available. Our hymn for today is from the hymn 30 of our Open Heavens devotional. We would be singing, When We Walk With The Lord. Have a remarkably blessed time in God's presence today. See you tomorrow again by God's grace. God bless you and bye for now. When we walk with the Lord in the light of His word, for the glory He shares on our way. What we do is good will, He abides with us still, and we know. Is 
says we will do, where he says we will go, never feel only trust and obey, trust and obey, when there's no other way to be happy in Jesus, but to trust and obey. I believe today's devotional blessed you. We are always glad to hear from you, so leave us a comment. Let us know how this has blessed you. Also remember to follow us on all our social media handles to get more like this. You can share this with someone to bless them too. We gladly look forward to seeing you tomorrow again. Have a fulfilling day ahead. God bless you.